So nine progressive groups have joined together to help stop the rioting that's destroying our cities. I lie. They're petitioning to tape delay the convention in order to fact check the speakers. Because those are all lies. CNN called it a parade of lies. As the leading fake news network, I guess they were frightened of the competition. So here's their biggest lie. We had multiple speakers from Congressman Steve Scalise and Jim Jordan tout economic records that have been obliterated by the pandemic. They cited the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years. Well, we don't have that anymore. We're now at 10.2 percent, higher than at any time uh, since the Great Recession. Really? Really? Yeah, well, for that to be a lie, you must be an idiot. For you assume America can't factor the shutdown's effects on the numbers. But then again, it is CNN. Fact is, those were amazing numbers before the shutdown, and even Trump's usual critics know that disputing them is too stupid a path to take. But not that bozo. The reality, the Trump economy was so powerful, it's still withstanding a hurricane disguised as a disease. Other lies fall into the usual muddy area of opinion. There's one about Trump downplaying the pandemic. This after noting the devastating impact on jobs from the shutdown that Trump initiated. That's some downplaying, shutting down travel, the economy, getting ventilators to those who claimed were needed. And Trump did this without killing people in rest homes. Maybe he should write a book about it, include pictures so Andrew Cuomo can understand it. Of course, they ignore the Dems and even experts who really downplayed it. And you could find those pretty easy. Our biggest concern to you, to you, to you at home right now, today, is influenza. It's, it's, it's not coronavirus. Sandra, you were telling us the last hour that we there's an important context we need to keep this in, and that is that the flu hmm. is more deadly. Yeah. I'm How worried should Americans be about coronavirus? Coronavirus is not going to cause a major issue in the United States. Half of the people in America do not get a flu shot. And the flu right now is far deadlier. So if you're freaked out at all about the coronavirus, you should be more concerned about the flu. Uh, who's downplaying what? Honest mistakes, because they were preoccupied. I still wonder how this pandemic would look now if the government hadn't been hijacked by phony collusion myths and a full-blown impeachment. Lives would have been saved, many lives. But knowing the Dems, they'd blame Trump for overpopulating the planet. So, Katie, uh, it's amazing when these fact checkers suddenly wake up for the Republicans. Yeah, this uh, Daniel Dale, who you had on yeah. uh, after the DNC, he was like, oh, there's just not that much to do. <laughs> there's just not that much fact checking to do. You know, fact checkers are just liberal reporters with a different title. Mm. Um, they pretend that they are arbiters of the truth, that they are fair, that they're looking at both sides of an issue. Um, but when you look at what they're actually fact-checking, it's very clear that they're no different than the other 93% of reporters that identify on the left. You know, Jesse, the, when they fact-check, they always tend to put a spin on it. It's like when the Republican says, they sent a pallet of cash to Iran. The fact-checker says, no, they didn't. They sent a pallet of cash to Iran. But it was meant for <laughs> something else and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, we'll just take the first part of the sentence. Thank you very much. Right. They're just like the DNC rapid response. I predict the fact checker is going to probably have a job in a Democratic political campaign because CNN probably isn't paying him that well. I love, to Dana's point earlier, you have the Republicans who have their convention and they say marauding mobs of socialists are going to destroy your family and your business. And then you have the DNC saying Donald Trump will destroy democracy, <laughs> pile up black bodies and give you COVID-19. And the media says the Democrats are uplifting and unifying and the Republicans are dark. <laughs> They're saying the exact same thing. And the fact that I, Jesse Waters, has the intellectual honesty to say that both parties paint dire pictures of the other party if they're in charge and CNN doesn't tells you a lot. Mm. Mm. Juan, do you agree with Jesse? That he's being honest? <laughs> no. <laughs> Intellectually you know, you honest. Know what, <laughs> you, you know what strikes me is facts are stubborn things. They're real facts. Yeah. Did you so invent when that you hear, phrase? When do you hear the Trump people say, oh, yeah, he's done a great job with the coronavirus. You think, oh, did they miss 170,000 Americans? I know. Dead? He killed those okay. people, Juan. So he let me killed say, those people. How dare he kill those people? That's a fact. And another that's, fact is... 
Guess what? When he says, is the oh, number, you know, not how he handled you, it. You know, oh, we yeah, expected you know, the two economy million. has been great we under Trump. Two you million, know, Trump Juan. promised, Trump promised 4% GDP growth. Never oh. achieved under Trump. Never. That, that's a lie. So again, it's a promise. That's a fact. That's a fact to live with. I mean, and similarly, you know, when you point out failures like that, that's very hard. And yet somehow you guys want to excuse it as just, oh, well, what's the difference? But facts are facts. I, I, I missed your facts. Dana, just the well, facts. I think, that, <laughs> I think that last week the fact checkers got the week off. But yes. that was okay because you can't yes, fact check did. emotions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right? Yep. There was one <laughs> thing point, last Anna. week that AP, the AP last week did fact check Michelle Obama's speech um, when she talked about putting kids in cages. And they said, wait, hold on a second. Those, that whole policy, the, the, the cages were built. Like, that was under the Obama administration. So I did see that one fact check. But I did notice that they fact checked Nikki Haley for calling Biden's public option government-run health care. But if you remember, when Obamacare was being passed, Democrats openly campaigned on this being the step to get to right. Medicare for all. So I don't think that that fact check needed to be done. Also, a fact check was when they said, if we did nothing, nothing against the coronavirus, we could see between 1.5 and 2 million deaths. And that, if we had actually done something, it could be anywhere from 150,000 to 250,000. That was in the data.